Hello. Good evening, everybody. Apologies, I'm a few minutes late. Let me just check. Where am I? Just get me on. Is anyone joining me this evening? It's a roasty toasty evening. Very warm here in my summer house, I have to say. And uh, I'd love to keep all the doors open at the moment. Hello, Joanna. Um, I'd love to have all the doors open and windows open at the moment, but um, our neighbours are out playing, so uh, there's a bit of noise out there at the moment. So I thought I'd have to close all the doors, so I'm now trapped in this heat, so it's a little bit like, hello, Rachel. Um, hello, Diane. I've uh, it, It's almost like a little sauna in here right now, so um, you can't hear me. Uh, can anyone else hear me? Is it just a, an isolated case or do I need to? Hello, hello, Julia. Um, is it an isolated case or? I can hear me on my laptop. Is anyone else having issues with? Hello, Mum. Um, oh, it was you, Catherine. What you like. Hi, Suzanne or Sue. Sorry, apologies. I know you like to be called Sue. I just saw the name pop up and responded too quickly. Um, you can hear me. Good, good, good. Apologies. I am a few minutes late. Um, uh, for those that that know me and are over on our on my uh, my private page, we we received some sad news um, just before going out to do the the applause for our for our key workers. Um, a very uh, dear friend of of our family um, who's been battling cancer um, has finally lost his battle. Bless him. So we won't get morbid. We will plow on. And yes, it's sad, um, but it's he's he's been battling a while, so uh, yeah, it's um, kind of for the best in a way, but sad. So apologies. I'll turn you down in a moment, and you'll see. But that's why I'm late. Um, we've had quite a week actually of a few going on here, so um, yeah, it's uh, not been the best of weeks in that in that. Uh, that case but but there we go tonight we are going to I'm going see-through tonight I did this um uh, it, yes <laughs> absolutely out of pain we're all human we're all human and if we don't get it out of our system um I held it together for hubby and uh yeah but I'm here I'm in my happy place I'm gonna craft with you I, I did something with my team the other day where we were playing with vellum and uh, 218 days, 18 days before I'd make my first, I need a tissue now, do excuse me, I did have one, where is it, I have one to hand, bear with me, two secs, there we go, I don't know what I did with it, I had one to hand just in case, um, 18 days before I do my first Christmas card then Simon, um, apologies, I've missed loads of comments so I'm gonna to have to go back and uh, and see a few um so apologies if I've missed things that you've kindly said or or not yeah I played I did a um a little crafting session with my team the other day and we were playing with vellum and it was great fun I came up with a card that I have to say I really fell in love with it the style of it I really liked it and uh, I wasn't really sure what to make this today with you. And I just thought, do you know what? I need, need to get playing with some of these beautiful new papers. So I've pulled forward some new papers that are coming. Um, I know 18 days and counting. First Christmas card. I'm, I'm, I'm holding to that one. Um, that'll be really odd. Uh, what will that, we've, yeah, June. I don't think I've ever made one as, as early as that. But um, there's some gorgeous papers coming in our new catalogue um, and I just have to get playing with them. And I, I've actually cut into it and um, I've got to show you. So anyway, new catalogue coming. It is literally just around the corner. Today I have been bagging up a whole load ready to get them out to people that have either signed up to the online launch party that I'm doing jointly with Tanya Reese, um, or customers of mine that have purchased in the last six months, they will automatically get one anyway. And if you do happen to receive it, if you're a customer of mine, you do yours in June as well, Nicole. Oh my goodness, Lee. 
Um, you are too organised, girl. <laughs> Way too organised. Um, if any of my customers do happen to receive uh, their catalogue and haven't signed up um, to the online launch and want to still join in after receiving their catalogue, um, it won't be too late. Just get in contact. Um, oh, bless you, Simon. I'm I'm fine, thank you. We just had some some sad news. A very very close friend of um, a dear friend of Graham, who he's known for a very long time, um, has um, yeah lost his battle to cancer. Um, so it's it's kind of very, very fresh, shall we say. But we're fine. We're fine. Thank you. Um, right. Let's get crafting. Let's turn you around. And um, yes, another play with vellum, um, Joanna. So here we go. Let's pull you round. And gosh, Oh, it is warm in here. Do you know, I might end up having to get... I'm hoping now the boys will come down, then they can come and open the door for me. <laughs> right, OK, so what have I got for you? Well, some of you will know me well enough, um, at least several, several of the girls in my team said to me um, that as soon as they saw this suite, they knew... Mm, oh, my goodness... This suite is just, um, this is Forever Greenery, the papers, and they are just stunning, stunning papers. So I felt I needed to get uh, uh, using these. Thank you, Simon. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Bless your heart. It's, uh, yeah, not the nicest of times, but there you go. Look at these. Look at these. Now... I am going to I could show you where we're where I'm taking you with this but I kind of feel like I want to not show you now I'm going to make one that's pretty much this exactly the same as uh, I'm barely ready I'll warn you now so <laughs> forgive me if I'm a little all over the place and not quite with it because I I am not quite together in what I've got ready um in fact I came in here and I was like I'm really not sure what to do shall I just pull these to hand <laughs> so several beside me here um but what have I got here so I have taken a piece of vellum a regular A4 piece of vellum it's really thin paper if uh, you're not familiar with what our what vellum is um and I have scored it in half um, from top to bottom and then cut it in half exactly as if you were going to make a regular um, tent card but I'm making it from vellum so when you score your score mark down the middle you need to use um, the when you look at your I haven't, I'm looking round for one and I haven't got one to hand but when you use your scorer you want to use the the bigger more bulbous end to very gently score you don't want to go mad um, otherwise you can actually I can't even see where I've scored now um, uh, there it is I can't quite see it no it isn't there we go yeah, you want to use it, otherwise you can actually go right through it. So there we go. And then just a gentle press. You don't want to go mad on that. So that's my card base. Now you're going to think that's a bit bizarre because it's see-through and it's not going to stand up. So we're going to put that right. So firstly, I am going to bring in a little paper cutter. And I want... Look at this paper. Isn't that on the colours? I mean, I'm a green girl anyway, but these are just gorgeous. Hello, Alison. Bless your heart. Thank you. I just saw your little message pop up. Um, love this one. Absolutely love it. Um, I love all of them, to be fair. Right. So I am going to cut this at a bit of a... What type of slant do I want? I don't want to go too... We'll go about there. So this has been cut. I did get this far. As wide as the card base. Um, let's just move that. 
and I've cut that as wide as the card base, which will stick there. But um, they are gorgeous papers, Mum, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous papers. But I don't really want to see all of this on the back. And we need somewhere to write and we need stability. So I have also, this was as pretty much as far as I got, I cut uh, three more pieces that are as wide as the card and they were the same height, um, just just over half. There's no right or wrong in terms of measurements, which is, you know, I'm not necessarily going to give you measurements. Plus also, I don't want to confuse you if you're in a different country using letter size. Um, I want to be sure that you know, you know, work it to your... So, I am now going to... Let's just line that up onto there. I'm going to create a backing. So we will just do that and cut that off. So is that we've got oh, a front to the card and a back. So that piece of front vellum is now sandwiched between cardstock and paper. But what I want to do now is I want to create two more pieces so that I can do to the back. So again, I'm going to just do that. And in fact, if I'm careful, and I don't go too crazy here. I should be able to do this together. Oh, it's toasty warm. Oh, it was stunning. I was sat out on the patio putting together all my catalogues today, uh, this afternoon. And it, oh, it was just the most beautiful afternoon out there. It really was. It was stunning. Um, in fact, I know yesterday was hotter, but I actually preferred today because it was just that little bit little bit cooler so do you see and then that one will go on the back so each piece is going to be sandwiched and that is what will give stability but you can see through this top piece so there's a real lightness about this so we can get sticking I'll start with the back when I've made this one I will show you the card that I made with my girls, uh, with my team. And whoop. see the other beauty of backing it is it not only covers the, you might want to see the uh, other side of the paper, but if you don't want to, you've also got the adhesive that you want to, um, to cover. Um, so let's line that up. There we go. You see, so you would see that adhesive, but if I now cover that, not only has the person got somewhere to uh, write their message, but it's also covered. Yeah, our neighbours are still out there playing ball games. So every so often you would hear all sorts of things if I was to open the door now. So I, I will just fry. Oh, just roasty toast in here for you. It's uh, it's certainly warm. Right, so now I need to do the back of the front, if that makes sense, and then the front. Yeah? So I think they're playing cricket out there. And they were flying a, um, like a little airplane thing earlier. Not a big one, not a real one. Kid's toy. Right, okay, there's that one. Great way of, A, using vellum, because uh, one of my team actually asked me, in fact, it was Julia, asked me um, ideas with vellum. And so here we have it. Um, but also a great way of using up some of your patterned paper. And also, if it's patterned paper that's really bold, 
and you're mildly nervous of it, you're really not using that much. So it's kind of a nice, nice way of using it. So there you go. There is the base of your card and it does stand up. Yeah. So let's embellish the front of this. I think, do, 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 I'll leave those for the next. What have I done with that? Oh, I put it behind me. Can't decide between, let's find a smaller piece in here. Pear pizzazz, which appears in this, or I'm not sure whether that's quite big enough, or pretty peacock, one or the other. So let's just get rid of that. Do we like the darker, pretty peacock, or the lighter, pear pizzazz? A drone, a UFO. <laughs> it, it's not a full-size drone. It is like a little kid's toy sort of thing. But it, but it is that type of idea sort of thing. So what do we think? Darker or lighter? Now, I'll start Pretty Peacock. I love Pretty Peacock. I have to say it is my absolute favourite. I'm looking for the ink for it. So I'm not going to use... A black for my sentiment I'm going to use I'm going to use pretty peacock so that it blends pretty peacock pretty peacock yeah pretty peacock we are getting a lot of pretty peacocks here uh, okay so now I'm going to oops sorry knocking the camera here I'm going to use thinking of you I think from my opening, you can all tell why. Um, so, yes, never have I had a week where making four uh, sympathy cards and posting four was necessary. Very sad week, but there we go. It, uh, it happens sometimes, doesn't it? So, hopefully, I think this will fit i'd like to use have i put them in my yeah these ornate frames dies i have hardly had any use out of these and all of a sudden i'm loving them and feel like i can't put them down so i am particularly liking these two because this one nests over that one beautifully and gives lots of real detail around the edge it's Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, nearly lost that off the thing. Does that fit? Wow, just, oh no. Mm. Do you know, I'm going to die cut it, but I'm not entirely sure I'm going to use that. Um, fell in love with the world. You've never used it? I really, really love this set. In fact, I was toying with a card using that. One very similar to that that I did on the, for my incentive trip swaps, actually. Um, so I might, I might even do that for you. Um, let me just check. I'm not sure. I feel this is a bit squeezed on, actually. Let's have a look. What do we think? Oh, actually, maybe not. Hmm. Okay. So you're itching to craft now. Well, you need to. You should be crafting at the same time, maybe. So let's have a look. That's if you've got your craft stuff to hand. Um. Let's run this through. Oh. And. Look how quite literally ornate these are. Gorgeous. Look at that. My little flick trick I do all the time. Saves all the pokey tool business. Occasionally you still need to go for it, but there you go. Let's move those. 
at those bits out there. Oh, so I've been die cut, doing lots of die cutting and you should see the floor here. I'm going to have to get the hoover in here tomorrow. It's, uh, yeah, quite a mess, I have to say. Um, okay. So... Where is that? Do we like the pretty peacock or do you think it should have been that? Or let's see, what ribbon have I got that might just make, pull it down a little bit and bring it? I could perhaps do similar to my other card. Yes, let's have a look at that. Nice ribbon scissors there. I don't know why Stamping Up got rid of their ribbon scissors because they are fabulous. I didn't get mine until very late actually. Right. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take, do you know, these really quite quick cards to make. Um, really quite quick actually. In fact, I'm going to Stick that to that rather than over the top. I feel it needs to go there. Here we go. Okay. And then well, hey, we can always make another one, can't we? Uh, what am I looking for? Dimensionals. How much dimension do I want to go for here? I'm going, I'm going for it. I'm feeling that I want to add, let's go to the ends. Yeah. And then I'm gonna add even more under here. This is gonna be double dimension. I warn you ladies and gents, you go into this and you go up a price bracket on your postage stamp. But there are sometimes that is exactly what you need to do. So let's stick, let's stick that down. Then let's take this. And before you know it, we'll have another card heading out in the post. And that just needs a little, a little Michaela touch now. Let's see what have we got in here. These I absolutely love and I'm sad that they are leaving us because you can really add some gentle gentle shimmer to something. I don't like that one though. That one's not very, it doesn't seem to have any, it's got all the shimmer on the back. Can you see that? It's got all the shimmer on the reverse side and nothing on the side it should be. That's going in the middle. It's a defective one. Right. Here we go. Loving the new paper, Lynn. It is. It is stunning. This one really, really caught my eye. Um, and I do absolutely love it. So I'm going there. And let's just... These are so subtle, but that's what I like about them. Oops, unless I put them upside down, that is. They are so subtle. They, It's more as you move the card, you'll see these, these glimmers. That's one. So you, you'll struggle to see it in amongst this busy pattern, but it... Um, it will be caught in the light. God, these ones are tiny. Got big fingers. Oop. There we go. There we are. There we go. Card number one. Pretty Peacock. Now I've seen it in action. It, it, it's truly beautiful. And if you see, can you see the little bit of 
trying to catch the light in it for you. Um, so that is my first card. So the, the you would write your, or I will be writing my sentiment here, but as you, and it does stand, as I say, it stands up. It's um, the card is what is, the layers is what's holding that uh, and giving it rigidity. This was another one that I made. Um, if you happen to have, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of it now. This was another card I made when I was making it with um, my team the other day. Um, this is also vellum. Um, this is in the, is it perennial essence suite? That is the um, three, three different shades of vellum. Um, this, a yellow and a green. Um, and again, just really pretty, very soft perennial essence. Yes, it is, Joanna. Thank you. Um, and it was this one that I just, every time I looked at it, I thought, you know, I really like that style and the softness and just a way of using pattern paper and vellum and something a little bit different. So there's the first one. That's the first one I'm going to do. The second one, I thought I would do um, just another one of the papers. I'm going to change the orientation of the card. So I thought I would, I've already pre-prepped a card. You like that one. Thank you. I can see lots of lovely hearts going up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless your hearts. Um, so I've cut already um, a vellum card base exactly as um i did for the for the other one but just the different orientation and i've pulled out a different paper here ah hello yeah you're all right yeah do you like that one yeah you do yeah i'm yeah. just about to start a second one so i've got a, a fresh little boy straight out the um shower haven't i yep good because you needed it <laughs> Right, I see you in the morning then. See in the morning. See in the morning the dawning. See in the morning the dawning. <laughs> oh, Graham's now hovering over, having a good look. Do you like that? Do you approve? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah, that was a good choice of mine. Good choice of colours. Good choice of colours of yours. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vivian says hello, Bertie. <laughs> Never knew what to do with vellum. There you go. See? And you're getting some more hellos. Nicola's saying hello to you. Can you read them on there? Yeah. yeah. Right. So I'm going to make this one now. Right. Night night, night then, Poppy. Night night. I love you, love you. Love you, love you. See in the morning, the dawning. So that's the, the reverse side of this one. And I'm going to... I thought that might be a nice side to use this this time round. So let's do this again. So I've already cut this one, um, but again, you would start, just in case you're just joining, you would start with your vellum card base and a. this is the same size as the front of this. You could actually cut that shorter. You don't need to have it um, too high up. Oh, bless, I'll no doubt in the morning he'll say, Mummy, can I watch your Facebook Live? And then he'll see it and he'll um, he'll go, oh, they said hello to me, bless. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have literally just at no particular choice of angle. There's no measurements. There's no, it's just how steep an incline of slant do you want? So there's that. Okay, then I have cut quite simply a, an A4 card in to quarters um, so is that I can repeat repeat this again so I'm doing exactly the same as I did before I am just quite simply changing the orientation of this card just to make it a bit different and then I'm not really sure quite what I'm putting on this so I'm going to be probably seeking your thoughts can I fit this in? No, I can't fit that in. Okay, let's get my, oops, my bigger one. Okay, there and there. And a nice cut through that. 
do love that paper cutter. So that's the same as that. That will be for my front. Okay, there. And then I need two more pieces. That will be, oh, that's not quite the same. Two more pieces here, there and there. I need to trim that down a tiny bit. Let's take that hair's whisker off of that first. Ooh, there we go. And then there. And it's all going quiet out there now. There and there. Okay. But these aren't surplus. You could, if you wanted to, do up the top, but you need the stability to the bottom. But that could be, you could find yourself making one where you put some, let's just, for argument's sake, say we did that, but cut a panel out and you could put some rigidity at the bottom. I think you'll find that would be a bit too top heavy, but you could, you could even do one that way of similar. But yeah, be mindful of, yeah, being a bit too top heavy. But those pieces will get used for sentiments and all sorts of bits. So we'll have the back sandwiched by the vellum, a front sandwiched with the vellum again. Okay, so let us, let me move that and get sticking. Move those two out the way first and do these two. Is everyone still with me? Are we... Uh, Loving these new papers. Is it, are we all excited for the new catalogue? Because I know I am. I am super excited to be sharing it with everybody. Um, and now she wants to make cards like his. Oh, bless. Oh, I need to get him in here making again. He hasn't, um, he hasn't made for a little while and he does enjoy it. But he likes it when there's a purpose. So when it's like his dad's birthday, he likes to to make for that and yeah when there's a purpose to make he gets real enjoyment out of that or his schoolwork he's been doing an awful lot of crafting with schoolwork actually where they've needed oh gosh and it's not always been his art lesson as well um it's been other lessons where geography and other lessons that they've needed to do something sort of arts and crafty he's really enjoyed it all right, this one's going this way, so I'll put the glue on this side. I'm going to line that up with that so that it's going to line up and cover. Close that down. There we go. See? Stands beautifully. Not a problem at all. Father's Day coming up. Oh my goodness, yes, you're absolutely right. Wow. Do you know, I think all this lockdown business has just completely thrown me in what's, you know, what we could have had all sorts of special occasions pass us and I wouldn't have really realised. I'm completely thrown by it all. Um, and very much so at the moment. That Well, we still don't know when the kids will be going back to school and whether Bertie will be yeah, going back anytime soon or whether it will be September, bless them. All right, I'm just going to trim a tiny little bit here out. That is just peeping through the bottom. Just because, as Bertie would say to me, Mummy, that's pernickety, pernickety pants. There we go. Right, how are we going to embellish this one? I really fancy making use of 
Oh my goodness, these are just gorgeous. If you saw my unboxing, you'll have seen these already. Mm, these are just stunning. Where's the one that I pulled out? What have I done with it? I had one here. Maybe I there. Oh, there it is. It slipped off as I pulled it over. But look at that. Just gorgeous. And that was what I was thinking of putting on the front of this card. Um, so, they're absolutely beautiful, those. I'm, I feel I'm probably going to be going through those very quickly. Now. I, this is where I say I haven't, um, see this one's going to go the gold route, that one went the silver route, but I just think that is stunning, absolutely stunning. Now, I haven't played with this at all, so I have no idea what fits, what doesn't in terms of sentiment panels. Um, right, let's put that one back in there before I... <laughs> my dear friend Alison uh, messaged me today. She said, I need to come and sort your dies out. They all, you put them in and they all just slide to the bottom. You need magnetic sheets in there. You're absolutely right, Alison. I really do need to get these sorted at some point. Um, but I, it's kind of low on my list of priorities now. I have no idea if these will fit or where I'm going with this at all so if you've got ideas ooh, is that gonna fit not well it might just see no well mm, let's see I'm gonna die cut one and then we will look at what sentiment to put in that. But if you can think of something you think you'd like to see there, then, oh, there must have been a little something in the middle of my play. Oh, yes, there is, right there. It's squished into the white. Does that? It's not ideal. But what do we think? Doesn't, I mean, it doesn't fit like that, but you're seeing top and bottom only. I would have preferred it to have sat in, but there's the rest of the set. There isn't another one that's over completely over let's have a look at that see what that's like batch of a4 magnetic sheets yes i need um it's too big this piece you think this piece is too big is that what you reckon or you think this is too long or too yeah Ooh, let's try all right i'm gonna try two that one won't fit on there let's try cutting two different pieces i'm going to put them both through the big shot and see what i can come up with okay It's not quite the same shape rectangle. That's the only, that's where my, I'm not really OCD, but that's when I would be like, mm, don't know that quite works. Let's just see. Let's just do that before I lose. That doesn't work, I don't think. But you could go bigger, quite a bit bigger. Maybe that's what it needs. Do you know, it actually feels so close in here. It could... I would believe it could thunder. What do we think of that? Do we think that looks... You're still seeing out the side there. Maybe... Let's see. I really have no idea where this is going. 
<laughs> this is my friends where people say, you're brave. Um, uh, no. What sentiment could we put in here? Thinking of you with all my heart, you know, I really don't want to have to make another one of those. Wishing you every happiness and this special day will bring. No. Have you got a punch of the right width that you can adjust the length of? Mm, good thinking, that lady. Let's have a look. What have we got? What have we got? Let's just see. Uh, ooh, do you know, you might have that there. You might just have this. Right. I feel like I'm so disorganised here tonight. This is literally hot off the press. Right, let's just... Ooh, 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 Mr Piggly. Okay. We could extend... Okay, so to extend, let me one and a half. Let's cut. Uh, one and a half. There we go. Right. Okay, let's see what this is like. If I can squeeze it in. Have you ever seen this done before? I'm sure you probably have, but if you haven't. So I have just cut this to the width of this punch. And now I'm going to very carefully, if I can, Thread it in there, she says, very carefully. Oh, gosh. It doesn't quite want to go. Ah. Oh, so close. There we go. There we go. Right, so we're in. Punch that end. Decide how long I want it to be. Now, this is going to be a little bit of guesswork, but I'm going to say about, no, so the tip, okay, I want the tip of that to be, so I don't want to be able to see that, that's going to go, I want that to be about there, ish. What do we think to that? How's that going? You can see the dots of the top and it's extended. So you're seeing the dots of the bottom. You like? Nice. Okay, let's think sentiment for this one. I'd like, I'd like something cheerful, cheerful and lovely. Uh, ooh, will that fit on there? Love and laughter forever after. That would be lovely. Look, hot off the press. <gasps> Beautiful. All right, let's just see. This has not been inked up at all yet. Ooh, that might just fit on there. Might just fit. There we go. And there. Oh, but, but it does work. You'd go narrower. Narrower still. I could take off. I could t take it down to there, actually, and just go straight. And in fact, depending on how this sits on there, I might just do that. I might end up saying goodbye to that. Uh, do you know what? I might go dark green. No, pretty peacock. Pretty peacock it is. Be decisive. 
be decisive again. Right, okay. I love that. That's a really nice saying. Love and laughter forever after. I'm going to cut that down. I am. Another new tip you've learnt tonight. Ah, the, the, um, with the punch. It's a nifty one. You can make your punches do so much more than, uh, than just what you see. Now, I think this is going to emphasise the fact that's not the straightest. Stamping, Michaela. And it is absolutely showing that it's not the straightest. Look at that. But, okay, let's have a little look. See how this works. You know, I might have to. Maybe I need to think this part through. What else have we got? Oh, right. Okay. Let's maybe use. Let's maybe use these instead. Maybe it's the base that's the wrong bit. Okay, it's rectangular. But for now, maybe I just need to work it with something else. Would you say? Leave the leaves off the gold frame. I was think I was tempted to cut that actually, and but then I saw these loose ones. So I might just and I'm tempted. Do that. Now, okay, that's not the straightest, but at this point I wouldn't throw it out because in a minute, ooh, in a minute it might well be what's that got caught on? That I you I put something here that will detract your eye and you won't notice it so much. Flip it, flip it. You are absolutely right, although. <laughs> it's vellum. I'll have to put it down much lower. Yeah, because you're still going to see it. However, now I've cut it down even more. This is going to be so much easier. One inch. One inch. Probably find. Here we go. So I told you this was very raw, uncut, unprepared, hot off the press, so to speak. I had no idea what I was doing with the first one. Right, where's the ink? Let's try again. First and foremost, let's check this is straight. Oh, okay, it's not the straightest. Okay, so I need to pull that side down a tiny bit. Flipped and mounted. Ooh, you lot are coming up with ideas tonight. Yay, much better. Gorgeous colour. Gorgeous colour. Right, so now, going back to the punch, this will be easier to slot in, this, she says. There you go. Trim that down. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, I can't see it. There it is. There's that. And that. Yay! Gorgeous. Loving that. That was, uh, I'd need to check the name of that one, but that was that punch. 
Lovely. Really like. Really, really, really like that. Okay. That. That. I feel like we need to add... This is when I would want to add a little... Where's my vellum pack? Mm -hmm. To add a little... See, this is when I would normally turn to... You see that punch? Going. Everyday label. You're absolutely right, Joanna. Everyday label. Probably because it is so useful, we would probably use it every day. Right, I am using the good old sprig punch. And we'll just see what it's like to have a couple of these in here. To give, again, a bit of dimension and fullness, so to speak. Uh, feel like this needs a spot of ribbon ribbon or twine oh I'm loving I haven't op I've opened but I haven't um, started using yet these which I believe are from the same suite aren't these stunning mm, gorgeous gorgeous might just use a little bit of this and see let's just take that off of there for the minute and now I'm not going to be able to go straight across. So I think I might just do double up my lengths and then do, oh, I just caught my nail on it, pulled on it, do a Double thickness gold bow. Mm, that's beautiful thread. Silky, silky. I tell you what, these ribbons this year, well, even if you're not a paper crafter, these ribbons, pray the end of the open weave. Did that today, it was fab. Oh, you were doing all the fraying. See, I think that would be a bit heavy on this because of the vellum. But um, in fact, this is fraying as it is. So you've got to be careful with this one by the looks of things. Um, look at all that that's frayed just as I've... That's going to be one of those you probably want to do little knots on the ends. Right, let's have a look here. Um, and I might even, have I got the, hmm. my, my head is going 10 to the dozen here with lots of different ideas and thoughts. Um, and I know I've got the dies to go with this somewhere. Uh, let's just have a look, because it might be, mm -mm -mm. is it in there? No, it's not. No, gosh, don't you just hate it when it's a brand new, oh, what a horrible thing to have. You know, when you've got a new set and you cannot remember the life of you, what they're called. Um, no. 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 Maybe I haven't got them in here. Oh gosh me. These were labels. No true text. No. Cannot for the life of me think or oh, right, okay. That's okay. We will carry on regardless. I don't know where they have gone to. So Let's just, I'm going to do a spot of, that is going to go up on dimensionals. Now I need to be careful this end 
because of what's going to be seen through and how high this therefore goes or where I put my second. So I think this is going to want to go about here. So if I put it onto the card itself, then I'm going to, so there's, this end is just going to kind of wave in the air. So there's going to be a nice void for me to straight, yeah, a nice void for me to tuck things under now. Um, it's got caught up. This is very fine, this. It's beautiful though, but very, very fine. I'll do that that side and then have, I like that one in there. And then, I think the delicate one, the delicate one I've done is better. I'm not quite with you there. The delicate bow or the... Aren't these just beautiful? I can see me running out of those though. <laughs> Very quickly. Yeah, okay, let's start tucking these under with some glue dots. Let's just do that and that. And I'm going to take off a little bit of the tails just because when I'm tucking it under it does make it a little easier if it's not too long to tuck under. Add that in a moment. You'll like. Actually, I could do Yeah, that really does fray. Look at that. Do you see it? There's not going to be much left of that. I think I'm going to just try something else here. So, let me try. Oop, oh, yeah. <laughs> let me just try this really don't want to have to start getting is it they do um isn't it a lighter that you often use to the end of ribbon to stop it from fraying i really don't want to have to do that um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tie a little knot right towards the end and let it fray you love it, Fred, do you? I'm concerned. Would you not be concerned that that's going to completely come apart? I'm going to just do this and then, well, you can help me decide which one you think is. Let's do that and that and then hopefully you can see what I'm doing and grasp what I'm up to. Oh, I've got a little bit that I keep catching on the side of my nail there which is not helpful with such delicate thread um, right okay there's that I probably completely lost you now you're probably like what is she doing here we go. Looks like little pigtails now. <laughs> it's not very even. Mm, no, I think we'll go back to this. We'll go back to that one. Okay. It was worth a try. Worth a try. But that one's not... I need to have a play with that. That would be fine if it was longer, I think. I think too short like that, and it does. It looks like little, um, yeah, pigtails. Uh, 
Where is that? Ah, Sarah, hello. I didn't see you come in and join us. Thank you so much. Bless you. Lots of lovely people in here with me tonight. It's just starting to cool down in here. Look at that. Lots of lovely gold in here. Right, need to stick these ones down this end. So let's do... I do love my glue dots. Use them rather a lot. And you prefer it frayed. Yeah, I guess it's just one of those... I, just nervous, mildly nervous that it's going to come apart. But as long as it doesn't, I don't mind. Let's do that. And that. Then add a few of those. And then I must have, I've been labelling up all my new embellishments and clearing it. I've got a tub full of old. Oh my goodness, I have got so many. And I have to say, my buy one, get one free sale this year is going to be huge. Huge. Another one there, maybe. Or over here. Maybe under there. Might even do another one. Put the punch away, I think, didn't I? Yes, there it is. Too tidy today for my own good. There we go. It's that. And... And that. I use my scissors a lot. I know I've got one of those um, pick a tool, but I just, I always using the tip of my scissors. I just find it easier, she says, as she's struggling with this one. I know lots of my ladies are always using um, tweezers. I have to say, I have got, I do have, oh, it won't come off of here now. I do have them to my side and I do use them but not as much I really like that now it needs a tiny bit of bling needs a little bit of bling I just think these papers and that gold just say it all really um, and I think that's what I'm loving I've never opened a catalogue I genuinely mean this I have never opened a catalogue and fallen in love with the papers as I have done this catalogue this catalogue is yeah something else uh where did I no, no. let's see now no I feel like it needs to be gold what have I got that's gold what have I got now I've got they're too champagne-y. Is that going to look? Mm, not quite. Not quite. But I could use... No. This style's gold hoop. Stars, no. Where are my, my huge tub of retiring embellishments gone? No, can't find. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Let's see if these, the poppies, let's just see if, yeah, that's it. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's take a few of those out. And that one, and do a little splattering of these. Thank you, Julia. Have a lovely evening. I'll be catching up with you soon. And I'll 
launch, bless you. God, it feels so long ago that we actually got together with people. It really does. It's, um, yeah, very long time ago. Oh, I'm liking this. Really pretty. I'm tempted to put a few more on, actually. Really lovely. I like these ones. They're like little flowers. They're really sweet. They've been my favourites in this tub. Um, it could put coloured ones on here, but I think we'll just... No. No, actually, do you know what? I'm not. That's going to be overkill otherwise. I think there's enough gold going on now. Starting to put too much on. So, there we go. We've got where we can write. We could have stamped in there, actually. Um, this is a stamp set with all these images that could have gone with it that I could have used. Absolutely beautiful can't wait to really get playing with that um i think that's going to be sometime over the weekend um looking forward to the launch last week thank you thank you yes i am thoroughly thoroughly looking forward to that and i know a good few of you that are on here this evening have signed up so thank you so much thoroughly looking forward to sharing the event with you uh, it's a first for me uh, it's a first for tanya and we are going to have loads of fun so they are the two cards i've made this evening using the new um forever greenery um dsp and that was the one i made if you wanted to see to use up papers that you've got and if you've got some of that perennial essence vellum you could also make that one up so there you go vellum what to do with some of your vellum um that you might have but you want using so i hope you enjoyed that i know it was a little bit uh scatty perhaps from me this evening i do apologize but i'm sure i have your sympathy there but um yeah I enjoyed those. I really like those. I think they're, um, it's those papers. Those papers just do it for me. They are just absolutely beyond stunning. I fell in love with that suite as soon as I saw it. Um, my favourite colour and it's, they're just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So thank you, thank you, thank you for bearing with me, for joining me. I'm so pleased you like what I came up with and um, I will come up with something uh, way before the event next week. Um, actually, yeah, next week. So if I've got, oh, I've got lots going on next week. I have got, um, so I'll be with you here Thursday. I might have another surprise one for you Friday. And then um, all day, for those that have signed up for it, all day Saturday. So um, night, mum. I'll speak to you in the morning. Um uh, yeah, then my all day on Saturday. So uh, of which if you haven't seen all about it, um, have a little look. I will put it back in the thread and bring it back up a little bit. Um, but six different Facebook lives, three from Tanya, three from myself, plus other little bits that we're posting into the group. Um, and it's all using all the lovely new things. This is one of the suites, but I'm not using it. So anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you for staying in tonight and, and joining me. Thoroughly enjoyed having you here and I will see you again soon. Take care, stay safe. Bye.